Hi everyone, it's Ryan from Uncanny Owl, and in this video I'm going to talk about the Login Logout Links module that's included in the Uncanny Learn Dash Toolkit. So the first step, of course, is to install the toolkit and then to go to the settings page. And what we want to do is make sure that the Login Logout Links module is turned on, which it is here. Once that's done, that makes some login and logout short codes available that you can use anywhere on your site. And it also makes some new menus available. So if you go into the appearance menus uh, setting, then you'll be able to add them to your menus. So that's what I'll do now. So if I go into appearance and then menus here, then what I can do right now, you can see I have a completely blank menu set up and I'm using it. Um, this is a, a demo site. There's nothing here really at all. We just want to make sure it works with themes out of the box. So it's just a stock theme that's set up here with no customizations. Anyway, at this point, no menu's been set up. So I'm going to use this one. I have to make sure that it's using um, the right theme location. So what has happened by turning on that login logout module in the toolkit, it's exposed these menu links now at the bottom here. So what I can do is I'm going to add these two just so that I can demonstrate in the video how these work. And we don't have any kind of registration module, anything that's custom in the toolkit. This is just using whatever you set up in LearnDash, or sorry, in, in WordPress. So whatever you have in WordPress, it would go to that registration page. So let's go ahead and click on Add to Menu. And now you can see they are in the menu. And I'll go ahead and save that and go to a sample page that I've got here and I'll go ahead and refresh that page. You can see right now the menu is empty. But when I turn that on, you can see that now that I've enabled those menu items, it's going to display them here. So right now you can only see log out and that's because I'm signed in. But if I were to open this, let me hmm, I'm going to open this in an incognito window here. Let me just resize that so you can see that appropriately. And now if I do that, you can see that I have the two links. So log in, and this will go to the WP login page. This one is a little different. It's because we've set up the, um, the custom module we have for the login page. So it's using the short code and we define this page. You can see it's just a sample page. Um, but anyway, this is where um, it does have the, the login module. And then if I clicked on register up in the menu, then you'd be able to register here. And this is just, again, nothing's been set up on this site. You could have your own registration forms, pages, whatever. Um, this is just using whatever WordPress has available. So the key thing there is that it did add those menu items. So on your site, if you need these things, it's going to make them easily accessible. And then if you wanted to, what you could do too is you can include these things as shortcodes. So again, let me uh, create a new page. I'll just create a new page and show you with the shortcodes. And I'm just going to take a second here to set up a page. And what I want to do in here, oops, I will correct my spelling. I'm going to paste in the shortcodes that we've made available. So there are four of them that you can use here. First one is a link to login. The next one is a link to log out. The third one is a combination of the two. So depending on your signed in state, it will show whichever one is appropriate. So if you're logged in, it would show the log out one. And if you're logged out, then it would show the login link. So let's go ahead and publish that. So you can see there are four short, short codes there. And once that's done publishing, if I go and view that now, so you can see I'm already logged in, but it, because we specified that, it still makes that available. Um, and then it's got two logout ones because the one is conditional and the one short code is always showing the logout link. So that's why it's showing the three and then the register one is not valid because I am signed in. So it won't let me do that one. Um, and, and the reason that the login one is showing is just because when it is used, it's forced. So this is forcing it. 
Generally speaking, for most sites, you should be using the one that is conditional. So the UO underscore login out. That's the one that's most appropriate. Now these aren't styled, and the reason they aren't styled is so that you can do whatever you would like with them. So you can style them as buttons if you want to, or maybe you just want them as text. And we just insert them as plain hyperlinks so that you have that flexibility and you can do whatever you want with them. And we do know that makes it a bit more difficult for beginners because you might not know how to style those things. <clears throat> But we still thought that was the right way to go, just so they're as flexible as possible. And you can really use them in any capacity that you want. So I'll end the screencast there. I just wanted to cover the menus and how to use the shortcodes. We hope that helps, and we hope you enjoy the toolkit. Thanks.